I could build an encampment here, but I think that would be a waste, because I think Brussels is mostly going to be safe in the long course, the long term of the game. There's a boost towards machinery, there's a new government type. Um, do we go right into oligarchy? And we're going to take the bonus to production of units. We're going to take urban planning. Um, Diplomatic League, we actually will get one envoy with Planque there soon, so that's going to be good. Uh, we still have the requirement to get a great general. I don't know if it makes sense to throw that in there or just start working on our great writer points. Probably it makes more sense to get started on our great writer points or great scientist points. you settle a crap city and trade it? Maybe. I mean, the nice thing about not developing warmonger and keeping diplomacy open is you can run open borders for more um, um, tourism and stuff later on. Yeah, let's get the scientist points for now. Try to get at least one. Not that we even have a goddamn campus yet. Uh... Up, uh, the empanada over here is what? Plus two envoys whenever you build a wonder, including empanada in this city. More faith, more great work slots. I mean, that's pretty relevant. Must be based adjacent to your capital. Um, I think we have to ancient walls up. Uh, we may not have to ancient walls instantly, though. I think what we do is we pop out a couple more units, especially since we've got the discount to it right now. Same thing here. Let's make sure to get at least two spearmen. That'll bring us up to three spearmen, which I say is pretty critical, Massey. Um, and then... After wheel, we can get engineering, we can build a couple of catapults. Alright, we're going to settle here. Do, do, do. I don't think I would have been that salty had I lost, um... Had I lost Stonehenge. But now I'm salty. <laughs> now the salt is real. Uh, go for the monument right away. The balls on this guy! The balls on this guy! So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna do this because it's an easy, like, I'm gonna metagame this in that I can easily, like, fulfill this promise and get a relationship boost and whatever later on. Like, I'm just doing that keep the game the system, because that is so not the thing I wanted to say. Don't and yeah, I think our religion's just been purged now. I don't know. I don't know if it ever comes back. I, it, probably not. Ah, oh, well. The important thing was to have an early world wonder as well for the tourism, and a little bit of faith. Although our religion would have been handy. I don't know what his is. It's probably all stupid. I think I need a builder here because I want to go and mine these things. Because um, with three melee and three archers, all we really want is probably a couple of catapults. Check religion. You have now it does. I, oh. So I mean, I'm assuming it falls under... Yeah. So we are Catholic now. So... Oh, you want to know what it does now, is what you're asking about. I mean, we still have my religion here, but it's not entirely accurate. Um, wait, I'm confused. Oh, there it is. Wait. That's weird. The mouse over for this one is the one. I don't know, it's just a weird tooltip. All wonders provide plus four faith, and allows you to construct synagogues for more faith. I mean, that's okay. You can do a lot of faith by stuff, mostly, you know, for artist types. Buy the mark tile below his T and then build encampment. Oh, build an encampment here? But yeah, but I really wanted the um, industrial zone. Get 
Oh, someone just built the Apanada. Apadana. I'm just gonna call it the Empanada from now on, just like the Potato Palace. So salty. Um. Oh, yeah, now we can get some walls over here in Brussels. We still have friendship? We still have friendship. Wow, your production rates are insane over here. How's your housing? You're getting close to sort of being capped. Um, okay. That is insane amounts of faith from a holy site. But I, I don't think I can sacrifice the production from these tiles. Especially these. It's just, it's just too nuts. I don't want to spend money because I might need it for war thing, but like... You know what? No, I, I will actually. I'm going to buy a tile here and I'm going to start building an encampment. Because this is such huge production, it would be a great place to build military units. And also protects us against Germany, just in case something crazy happens. I do already have a lot of production, and maybe we could afford to sack some. There is something to be said about that. And that is a really good faith tile. Alright, you know what? We'll drop a holy site. Uh, I want the science, but we're actually not that far from getting Valletta to be our guy. So I think I'm going to do that. You know, at some point, what's going to happen, Greece is going to say something about, like, you have too many units near my border. And I'm going to be like, People who cannot find time for recreation. I can't tell him to, to fuck off with his units, right? No. Be the target of declaration of war. Greece has wanted to plan something. The AI is a little confused because it wants to attack because it knows it's got, like, you know, superiority of numbers and the um, uh, the warmonger penalty is not too bad at this era, but we've been friends, so it can't. So it's like, it's there because it really wants to sneak attack me, and then it's like, it's trying to hit the button, and it's like, why doesn't the button work? Because you're not allowed to, punk. That's why. So much salt. Build mines has production tile. Yeah, that's the idea. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm going to improve the uh, luxury sources first, just because we need a little bit of luxury going on. But yeah. Uh, do we want to get another builder here real fast? We do have some extra stuff. On the other hand, we can also start with another district here, which would be kind of swell. I think that's what I'll do. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll build a, like... A commercial hub because we don't have one yet and we can get you know various unique stuff going on just build it here then build the theater square right next door and then you get a little triangle of boosts that's probably okay I don't think there's any other adjacencies I need to worry about over here Another builder would also be nice, but yeah. We'll lock this in. At the very least, what I should do is, like, start more of those um, districts so that we, the cost gets locked in. So I could just still decide to swap over or something. Uh, we already have the uh, third archer, don't we? Yeah, because we've already got the boost of machinery, which is great. And, like, shift-click our way up there, too, I suppose. Because that does make a big difference. We're 
we're still friends. One man's magic is another man's engineering. He's angry that I'm recruiting a city states. Well, you know what? I'm a little angry about things too. I'm just saying. Rip Great Zimbabwe and Baker. Oh, yeah, because adjacent to the uh, the thing, eh? The the cows. Where do you need to build it? Must be built adjacent to a commercial hub district with a market and adjacent to cattle. So no, we can we can Zimbabwe right here. Can't we? Pretty sure. I don't remember which one the Zimbabwe symbol is. Yeah, so it should be fine here, I think. But I wasn't thinking about that about placement, and it's a good thing that we got lucky that it didn't F up. So that's good. Because I could have easily placed it somewhere else and had something bad happen. Catapult. Okay, now go mine one of these things. Finished Stonehenge before the AI? But partially lucky. I mean, we got we found a natural resource, so we got the Eureka towards astrology. And then, yeah, other than that, we sort of just crossed our fingers. <laughs> didn't We didn't end up doing much with the religion, though, because of how other things developed, so... It wasn't quite that handy. No walls in Ephesus yet, which is good. Yeah, what we did is we maximized our chances for luck to work out. Mind that. A lot of production early. God damn, this is gonna be a good production city. But we still don't have a freaking um, campus anywhere. Yeah, I'm just gonna hard record or research this stuff. It's fine. Mirror's trading with America, so they're now... Yeah, I guess so. Oh, okay. Germany over here. That's fine. It, like, I still might be tempted to put a city over here, but I'm not going to make a huge priority of it. Right now, we got to prioritize kicking the shit out of certain people. Um, I do want to go shrine and then, like, unlock our other religious buildings for things, but we're going to prioritize a catapult over here that's going to be A-OK, -okay, which just got built. Great library. Fine. I've so, lived through some terrible things. Excellent. Um, campus adjacency bonus. We need the holy site adjacency bonus right over here. There we go. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that because that's going to be a crap ton of extra faith. Going to be extra five faith. Indeed, it is. So I don't remember. Is Zimbabwe in? How do you? Okay, hold on. Okay, it's banking, so it's a technology. Okay, so it's not here. Is there anything we want to beeline to particularly? Yeah, monarchy, I'd say. Friendship is over! Yes. Now... Should I denounce him first? Because then I can do a formal declaration in five turns and get less more warmonger. I think the answer is yes. As opposed to a um, surprise war. Also, I think this will let him do a formal war declaration, which would give him first blow, but would mean even less warmonger for me. Need more soda. Okay, we got 13 minutes left. 13 minutes to start this goddamn war. Wait for him to declare to get the civic boost. Yeah, because right over here would be nice. I mean, this is assuming he's going to declare, but I mean, look at this stuff. He must, right? He must. Oh, 
The Lord made us all out of iron. Then he turns up the heat to forge some of us into steel. So we got nine turns to get crossbows, which would be pretty goddamn epic. I'm pretty sure we can fight the war as is, just fine with our archers, but the second our crossbows become online, we're like, okay, you're dead now. I think I'm good with everyone that's doing what they're doing. I'd like to get a harbor up sooner rather than later. Oh, was this always here? I don't think so. Oh, America, Cincinnati. Yep. So we'll have to meet Teddy at some point. Uh, so we'll just swap out of the defensive tactics for now for the boost. Even though it might mean delaying monarchy, but it's a hell of a lot more efficient. So two catapults, I think, is going to be sufficient. I think we've got to build a theater square if we're going to do any of this shit. I mean, there's going to be another district here, so we could build it here, but... I don't want to build it on the hill, because I'm going to want to mine that. Maybe the flatland down here, because it'll be adjacent to a world wonder, right? Yeah, this is probably fine. I don't think this interferes with anything. If I just build a theater square down here, I think we're going to be okay. Theater next to Stonehenge for the bonus, yeah. It's flat. I mean, we can farm it, but there's not going to be a farming triangle over here. Well, I guess on the other side, but we can still... No, it's good. At the very least, I should lock in the cost. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm... I don't think I'm going to build another archer now, because I don't think we're going to have the money to afford it. So I think I'll just sink some turns into this, and then when machinery kicks in, then, like, everyone's just going to start making crossbows. Okay. I mean, it's only been one turn. We still don't have a formal war or anything like that. Listen, bro, come at me. Because watch him not declare the war, and then I won't get the boost. You know what? I'm just going to beeline this again. Um, maybe it'll still shave a few turns off if he declares, but in a couple of turns I'm going to be declaring, so... And then it won't, it won't really be relevant. Hey, Michael Prince. Also, I've been missing some tips, so let's go and check that. Rommelson sent in another tip. Jeez, Rommel, thank you. Uh, I decided I like 200 better than 170. Nice round number. Hashtag OCD. Hashtag Germans gonna kill Quill. Also, my name member comes up for city rename or something. Just keep the auto-rated generated name instead. Okay, well, I'll try to remember that. Although, you guys know my memory is pretty poor. Life is overrated. Thank you very much. We'll, we will be sad if you do not steal Petra. That's what I like to do, is steal Petra instead of building it. Keep up the good work. Love your streams and programming channel. Uh, Bozidov from Croatia. Well, thank you very much. Life is overrated. And Lone Wolf for Death, thank you as well. Watch you for years, mostly on YouTube, and it's about time to give some generosity back to you. If I had more to spare, it you would get, indeed get it. Love you, Quibble. Thank you very much for the support, you guys. And hope you guys are going to enjoy this series. I hope, I hope it goes well. Tourism victories are the hardest things in Civ 6. For sure. Especially at the higher difficulties, because you can't just wonder spam all the things. Uh, oh, friendship with Germany just expired. I would like to get that back. Thank you. We have surprisingly good military power. I mean, obviously our tech rate's slow, but that's because they a lot of them start with the ability to build campuses right away. Um, and they got that 40% boost, so it's, um, it's a little bit misleading. We are four turns away from crossbows. You know what, then? Um, I'm going to get you to just sneak in a shrine here. That's going to be A-OK. -okay. Germany forward settled? Uh, this is not forward settling. That's, that's entirely reasonable. Oh, it's like contiguous to their own territory. I'm actually surprised they didn't settle a little further forward. And I, I just talked about, like... Five minutes ago, that would have been okay if they settled over there. Like, I'd love to have a city there, but I'm okay with them. In fact, it almost would have been better if they'd sort of settled a little bit more, because if ever I took over those cities, it'll be better placed. But now there's less overlap with my own stuff, so... 
Yeah, that's fine. We do have a lot of money. We could buy tiles and things, but of course we are going to be looking to upgrade um, our archers to crossbows in three turns. So what we might do is actually wait on our war declaration until we get there. If they declare war, well, it doesn't matter anymore. We're about to finish defensive tactics. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to wait two turns. I can probably declare now. No, it's still surprise war. Oh, no, no. Casas Belly over here. Formal war. But I'm going to wait two more turns. War in practice, probably three turns for those upgrades to complete. Because then on the first round, we can just obliterate them with righteous fury. How do I tell which units are quills and which ones are grease? That's an excellent question. It's not super easy. Um, we're going to cancel Agoje because it's actually not going to help us with our stuff. Um, I don't know if Bastions will help. I, oh, no, I do have City Walls in my capital. I'll throw Bastions down. I don't know if the, things are going to be in range, but just in case, it's going to be really handy-dandy. So we're going we're gonna to do that. Although, Conscription will start to save us a lot of money. Um... I actually think I'm going to put that in my wildcard policy for now. Hearts to lose the great scientist stuff. Plus, I was just about to check how things were going. Um, so there's nothing we can buy or anything like that. That's going to be okay. All right. Yes, of course. All right, machinery is going to kick in. We upgrade our archers. Next turn, we declare war. And that's going to be a hell of a cliffhanger. Ah, yeah. I'd imagine the whole world is one big machine. So expensive is this? 200 gold, so we only get to upgrade two of them. Boost us towards metal casting, though. That's going to be okay. Oh, that guy had a promotion. I didn't realize. I thought only this guy had a promotion. Well, that's a little shitty then. Oh, well. Uh, build a crossbow. Brussels, you are going to build a crossbow. Excellent. Um, extra neon. 57 turns for a crossbow. God damn it. <laughs> wow. I'm going to swap the Kyves to you. Um, just very slowly get started on building a... Um, uh, oh, we don't have the Harbor Tech. Never mind. Shit, man. You know what? Just get started on Builder. It's going to take you a million years, but that's okay. Uh, trade route is done over here. And while trading to Germany is still quite profitable, I think what we're going to have to do is move you to Extra Neon um, because it's going to need a little bit of extra production boost. Okay, we declare next turn. God damn it, Greece. So if we went to Villetta, what route would that actually be? Oh, that would be good. That builds roads right through Bru Brussels. Um, we don't get food, but we get a little bit more production. We get the gold. That should be a relatively safe trade route. I mean, it's going to be near the front line. But I think it's fine. So we go, yeah? These guys can can move or attack. Yeah, they're all awake and ready to go. All right, let's do it. Casas Belly. Oh! We entered a new era when we discovered fucking machinery. Therefore, the warmonger cost went from light to moderate. Ugh. Whatever. I'm gonna smelt your stupid helmet. Turn it into a latrine. Ich fast. What? What? What is he cranky about? Angered that you've been controlling city states. It, uh, uh, okay.
We gotta take out his range capabilities first. Top priority. And this guy who threatens my own range capabilities. Because that's how you win, by outranging things. There are no walls over here, so we can scrooch up to the city perfectly safe, which is nice. Um, and we are going to bop you. What is that? Military tactics? What did we just get a Yuri kill for? Whatever, I don't know. Killing something with a spearman, probably. Right. Okay, so you've gone, you've gone, and we got to make sure that everything's properly awakened here. Since, unlike in Civ uh, 5, there's not a really clear symbol for that. So you are just chill. I'm a little bit worried about you getting, like, Ultra Bombard here. Although, there's plenty of targets. No, I'm going to play it safe. I'm just going to rest you. Oh, the tech. Thank you. And then you've got nothing. You can't actually eat the traitor, so you're going to be okay. Uh, next turn. Okay, that worked out well. It now. is not that life is sure. Yeah, he's saying. Can you actually hit the city? Or is there line of sight issues? There are line of sight issues. I'd probably like to move you to start bombarding the city sooner. I think we're going to have plenty of attack. Okay, let, well, let's figure that out. Let's, um... Let's lose another trade route, because that's the way it's going to go. You have no target, but you could move here for maybe next round. Do we want to do this? Uh, apparently, yes. Alright, I'm going to finish you that way. Move up onto the hill here. Greek settler near the front lines. It's a bold choice. So you're just going to move here. You'll be able to bombard the city next turn. Hmm. What are we interested in targeting here? Oh, there's military tactics. Yeah, the pikeman boost. I'll start pre-researching mathematics. But we might do some, some half-research things on that. I still go here. You might be able to hit the, uh, the catapult next turn. It's 4 p.m. We're going to go one more turn, though. Hey! My trade route's alive. Uh, yes, we'll be friends with Sumeria. We're just a friendly sort. Look at that. Friends with everyone until they forward settle me in the face. And then I forward settle them with my fist. Or something. So we're really kind of wasting our crossbow, but we gotta go and clear that guy out because he's a big pain in the ass. You will get just a promotion that's gonna be fine. I really like thrust for the bonus against melee units. It really makes the, uh, <laughs> the um, anti-cav a lot less sketchy. I have some line of sight problems going in here, but that's, I guess, the way it's going to go. Go here, that's going to be fine. And I'll move this crossbow here, so you're going to be able to shoot these guys while this guy tanks, which is going to be handy. You're going to not do anything right because you got promoted, that's fine. You took that action, that's going to be A-OK. -okay. Alright. I guess we got to call it. I kind of want to one more turn. One more turn! Then I gotta call it, because Barstone stream is starting. He's gonna be playing... Um, I can't remember. He said what he was gonna be playing, and I have completely forgotten. He might have said he was gonna play Civ. Talked about a few different things. I think the last thing he said he was gonna play Civ, but I don't know. I'm no Bill Wall in Baker's MD, just out of a little bit of paranoia. One more turn. It's almost like it's kind of a mimetic thing when it comes to this game. Franchise. Alright, 
Well, we gotta always trim the range people, because they can hit us with impunity. Um... Little bit of risk moving up here with the spearmen, but I think well worthwhile. Yeah, I think we can do that risk-free, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna get the catapult to hit the city. And then you can hit the catapult. It's not like the city can bombard, so we actually don't have to necessarily prioritize taking it out that fast. Unless they are building walls, in which case that would be kind of unfriendly. Building on farm means we can heal, which is nice. So you'll move up adjacent to the city for some more bombards in the future. You will go ahead and bop this guy in the head. Okay, now we officially have to stop. So that's what I'm going to do. But I think I'm liking our opener against Greece here. I think we're going to do a heck of a lot of damage here. Obviously, there's a good chance that we are going to ruin reputation of a few people. It's quite handy that we haven't met Teddy yet. Because he really doesn't like it when you start wars on his continent. Although, he, this might not count as the same continent. But that's one less person to get warmonger penalty with. Um, as long as we sort of wrap up this war before we formally meet him. Which I'm sure is going to happen at some point soon. But especially as our borders reach out. But we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, folks. My next live stream is going to be on Saturday. But I will be hanging out in Briarstone stream right now. I'll be hosting it from here as well. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone who uh, who followed and resubbed, and everyone who sent in a contribution to the whiskey and chocolate jar. Uh, maybe going and having a little something right now. And uh, yeah, see you next time, folks. And if you missed any of it, it'll be up on the Yub Tubs hopefully soon. Bye bye.